Ooh, ooh. Guess what, y'all? I'm very excited about something. I am getting ready to do one of the few outside corners we have in this apartment unit. So I have to take the time to record it and show you guys what an outside corner is. Because most of the crown molding that I've been installing has been inside corners. When I say inside corners is when it's the corner of the walls. But when it's an outside, that means it's outside. You see that? See the difference? So there's an inside corner, outside corner. So let me show you how to cut that, how to make that happen. Let me show you how to make that happen. So, first of all, I'm gonna go up there and measure it. You measure it from the wall, from the wall to, I mean, where am I at? From the wall to the outside corner. Here we go. Let's take the measurement. Put your tape up against the wall. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. This is the wall. Put it up against the wall. And you measure it up to this line. Check it out. We're looking at 16 inches, 16 inches, and 3 16 So now, let me show you, now, let me show you on the saw how you make that cut. Here we go. 16, remember guys, 16 inches. So remember, remember the compound the miter and the bevel remember that all right so it's kind of funny because when it's two different corners you leave the corner when it's two when it's a inside corner to an outside corner it's the same cut check it out That's the first cut that goes up against the wall. And you leave the salt, you, you just slide, slide the wood to the right. Leave, leave that same angle, same stuff. 16 and 316. You make your mark at the measurement. It is the same cut, guys. Ain't that exciting? In that fun. There you have it. See that? It's the same, the same miter, the same bevel. Check, check it, check it. Check it, check it, check it. Yeah, oops, upside down. And now you can you do the same thing for that side and it will be here. Ain't that cool?